when that hand is touched, you can't go through cycles of closing and unfolding and closing and unfolding. It doesn't function this way. Okay? As soon as that's touched, it should, it should open. Right? And its orientation is to your partner's center. You, can't, you, you don't want to be trying to make a chop or trying to come here and come around or something like this. As soon as the, as soon as the touch happens, boom, it opens right to the center. Okay? So the orientation is there, but it doesn't physically go there. Just orient this way. Right? You're receiving, and you're also sending forth both. And as you begin to do the movements, right, you've got your partner's weight loaded in your legs. Right? And as you begin to move your legs, you begin to move your partner. And as you do so, you have to keep the focus of your hands towards your partner's center. So I can't go like completely away from that. Keep it here. Okay? Orienting this way. You make sense? That goes this way, please try You have to let your partner's power. You have to let your partner's power go someplace that's useful. Alright? So let it come down into your legs. If his partner, if his power is down into my legs, then as I move my legs, I can have any influence on him. If his power is up here in my chest, then you know, if I'm up here like this, then no matter how much I move my legs, it's not going to make any difference. Right, so here, open your hands, they're oriented correctly, and allow this power to come right through. Feel it, in, you can feel it in the legs. Now if I move them, it makes a difference. Okay? If I have my partner's power still up here in my chest, and maybe I don't know that, that I can't tell yet that that's what's going on, maybe I'm moving my legs and like nothing's happening here. It's because he's not down there with you. Bring him down. Send him lower than your legs. Send him in the earth below you. Let's try this way, go from here. Right. Say, okay, so hands open. And where in the world might I want to go? Oh, I know, the center. All right, which is actually here. Okay. Now, that's all correct. However, if I take my shoulder and my arm and my elbow and I line it all up there, it's not correct anymore. What's right here is wrong here. You have to break the job up. This one has the job of going to center. This one has the job of dispersing his power. Not the same job. If I try to, if I take this hand and try to disperse his power, it's a problem. Right? Everything's going to disperse the power. Big problem. Everything's going to go to center. Big problem. Right? So it's the right, the right tool for the right job. That goes to center. This opens up. This is a different function. Place every joint in the body. 
There's a strong radius in which you can move, beyond which it goes against you. So you have space in the joints, and you stay, you know exactly what's actually the strong range of motion per joint. And there is one, you can feel it. Right? So if I go here with my hand, I don't want to go like extreme way over here. I mean you can as an exercise and stuff, but really, this is it. And it's always oriented here. Elbow, okay, I don't really want like that. You can do it as an exercise and see what you can do, it's kind of cool, but I don't really want that. What I really want is I want my elbow to be from here to here. That's it. Okay, there's space in the joint, boom, and it moves about like that much, where it's absolutely strong. So this is in a strong range of motion, and this is in a strong range of motion. Same thing here. Okay, I don't, I don't go like, okay, I'm loose. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Right? It's not like that. That's that's healthy and all, but that's not good for Budo. Right? Budo is like there's space in the joint and it moves exactly no more than that. See? That's strong range of motion for this joint. So you put those all together and you have an unbendable arm. Which bends quite nicely. Right? Put them both. And then you take his weight and send it down to your legs. And if you've got that going, you send it lower than your legs. Right? So it's drawing down below the earth. And as you're doing that, keep all this correct. 